Walter, how are you? I'm having a fabulous life. I'm healthy and I'm well, and it's Monday. What do you got going? What do I have going? Well, I'm sitting here talking to you about a show called Outsiders. That's what I, that's what I have going. All right. Tell me about Outsiders. I've been hearing a lot about it on, on Facebook and the Internet in general. Yeah, it's you know what it's the uh, WGN has done an amazing job of of uh, promoting this this show and uh, last week we we premiered and we had a great turnout it was fantastic as a matter of fact um, you know the, it's uh, if if you want to just uh, know a little bit about the show uh, it takes place in the Appalachian Mountains and uh, I I play the head of a clan that's been up there for a couple hundred years. And it's a pretty unique group of people. It's it's not your typical mountain people, and the uh, the world they live in on top of this mountain, the coal companies has come to take it, and they're going to blast the mountain apart, and we're not going to let them do it. Okay, you say this is a unique clan. Yeah. Tell me about that because if you've been up there a couple of hundred years, that means that you're pretty pretty uh, cloistered, and there's not a lot of other people up there. No, not a lot of people, not a lot of people make it up there. You know, in, in fact, there are a lot of like Scotch-Irish that disappeared into those mountains uh, originally for real around the uh, time of the Revolutionary War. And a lot of the people who are still there now are descendants from those people. And one of the ideas that the creator of the show had was to, uh, was to keep some of those original roots, like kind of an old tongue, old language, um, even the possibility of a kind of, you know, unique rituals or a sort of a magic about it. But at the same time, these are really tough individuals who live really off the grid um, and have survived, you know, by their own wits and their own strength for a long time. Okay, so the coal companies companies obviously found gold in there. That's when that's the only time companies come when they find money. Okay, so they're coming now. They're coming after the coal. So obviously, this is going to disrupt the way of life. What do you want us to to know about this way of life and and about big business? That's really what the show is telling us. I think. Well, that's part of what it's telling you. It's uh, you know, just because this is a reality. I mean, this really is. I mean, obviously, you know, and we all know that this is. A part of what's going on in our in our in our world right now, just that that tension between people who you know need to survive, need to have jobs, who who have a way of life um, with with uh, with coal, and that's also part of our story, which is the the town below um, and their own struggles with uh, with a changing world. So we we are kind of thrown against each other. Uh, the people in the town are trying to survive. We're trying to survive. And the coal company is, it wants its, uh, it wants its dough, it wants its money, and it's going to do what it can to uh, get it. What brought you to this project? What made you feel that you could commit to doing, telling a story? Well, a, there were a few things. One, one WGN, I, I think is terrific because they're, they're, really, they're really putting their money behind their ideas. Um, they, 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 there was no pilot for this. There was no just one episode and then, you know, let's see how it goes. This was, they, they liked the idea. They committed to 13 episodes. And it makes a big difference. If you really want to figure out how to tell a story, it takes time to tell that story. Um, and it's true with most shows uh, that make it on the air. So I, I, I think it was great that they wanted to do that. And this, because of that world... It's not a world that we really have seen before. And the idea of discovering what that world is and all of us together, um, you know, living it and, and uh, you know, just as a creative experience, there was something uh, exciting about that. Well, it seems to be. And, they, and obviously they have put something behind it because from what I read, they had an open casting call. Uh, it's based on a true story, all of that. True? Well, I, I, I wouldn't say it's really based on a true story. I'd say it's more, you know, it's really based on, even though there's a, you know, a, almost a fantasy element to this because of this, this clan that's up there, um, it is definitely based on the circumstances that people are, are really living with us in, the, in, in this country. So it's a great combination. 
This is going to be really, really interesting. What Can you tell me, uh, uh, what are we going to learn that we didn't know by watching The Outsiders? Is there anything we're going to learn that we really didn't know? Well, you know, a lot of it would be this world, um, is, is this discovery of a new, of a new clan, really, uh, and, a, and, a, and a kind of a unique way of, of, way of life. And I think as much as fun as it has been for us to discover that, it'll be the same fun for the audience to discover that. Okay, I love it. I can't wait. So tell me, when, and we know WGN. When are we going to be able to watch this? You, well, we premiered last week to fantastic numbers, um, and we're on again tomorrow night, Tuesday night, 9 o'clock. And you got to come back and tell us about your role. We didn't talk about what you're doing. Yeah, that's all right. Well, we can talk about it another time. <laughs> Please come back because I think this is going to be very, very interesting, especially with, with, with uh, state, uh, uh, networks now doing – I've been watching Outlaws of the Past and Clan Feud. This is mm -hmm. just going to fit right into my TV watching. <laughs> so I want to thank you, and I hope my audience joins in with me. Well, I hope they do, too, and thanks for having me. My joy. Thank you. Okay.